Hey guys, this is uh, PSVR Gamescast Live. We film live every Tuesday afternoon and bring it to YouTube live every Tuesday uh, afternoon. Afternoon, noon. What, what time is it? After it's noon time. We are very on time. We're almost. We're extremely on time. No, we, st yeah. we started the stream. That, that's like a two minute introduction. That is true. We're fucking killing it or today. Two. Two. Yeah. Two and two and two. Was it the, I mean, Chuck Woolery? The Love Connection. Was it? Oh my two god, and two. the Love Connection. Yep. Yeah. Yep. See, it's my fault this week. We're starting with '80s TV shows. <laughs> yes. I used to walk home from school in like fourth or fifth grade or something like that, and uh, and have to stay with my grandparents until my parents got out of work. Yep. And they had this like old school TV set, like in their uh, in their foyer. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, man, we would watch the we watch Love Connection and Adam's Family every single they day. They have their like. What about the Love Boat? That was around the same time as I Love Connection. I've never seen the Love Boat. Oh really? Yeah. The love boat. That could never exist Soon nowadays. We'll be making another run. <laughs> never seen it. Know the fucking theme song. Why do I know that? Right? Imagine going if the captain goes through the cabins with like a, a black light. <laughs> and nowadays it'd be like. It's like no. a forensic files episode. Oh my, it'd be awful. It's like, it'd be like, this boat needs to be docked and <laughs> scrubbed. Oh man. Good stuff. Uh, this is PSVR Games Cast Live. Uh, this is we, we generally talk about PlayStation VR games. We have a lot of housekeeping to take care of today. Thank you, Jeffy Condyle. Was that Housekeeping? right for the for the first tip before we even started yes, the stream? Yes. Thank you very much. He says two dollars for backward compatibility. I will pay much more than that, sir. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you very much for your donation. Uh, I'm Brian Paul. That's Jeremy King. We do this every Tuesday afternoon, and uh, but 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 part of our housekeeping is some updates to that. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. First, I want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like the videos, also join us on a PlayStation 4 community, PSVR Game uh, Without Parole Game Cats, PSVR Without Parole Game Cats. That's right. And then over on Discord, make sure you click the link. I think this is in the description of this video or in somewhere. I think it usually is. Should be somewhere. Yeah. Uh, make sure you uh, make make sure you join us over on Discord, man. That that place is hopping all the time. I, you go on at four o'clock in the morning. There's game cats talking about shit. I know. It's like I, I, randomly I can jump on there and there's like 150 new messages since yeah. last, and it's like it's been 11 minutes. <laughs> and on top of that, there's like usually somebody like in the music channel just like playing music, just throwing it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's really strange how yep. addictive that gets. Like just being like, hey, I'll put you know I'm gonna add a song to the set list. Oh, let's fucking stick around, and listen to music together. I know. I've yeah. tried adding, but I forgot you got to add, you got to do the something before it, like it's, an exclamation, it's point. exclamation point. Yeah, but it's, it's so, it's so ridiculous how, how overwhelming Discord seems to use at first. Okay. And then like, and then you're like, oh, okay, now I totally get this. I know. It's like, like I've only delved into a few of the channels and I really haven't listened to any of the music yet. Yeah. I've just tried throwing some in there, but I didn't put the exclamation point, so it didn't get added. Uh, so definitely join us on Discord. Yes, very, very, very important. Um, and I uh, want to, you know, give a shout out to Des, who's I uh, believe home with the kids. Um, yes, the kids, they're on break. Uh, sorry, school break or something. J Jeremy's too busy Matt talking Cat. to you. Or what's to, to, Matt? He was to talk to you. I don't remember what you said, it's, Matt, it's last night about my hair. He did say something about your hair last night. He did. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I tried not reading as much because in the beginning I was reading of the stream, the live stream, and I wasn't leaving the room. I was just like reading everything. So uh, I then with fighting that dude or who yeah, was that? That was Jack mutated Jack. Jack, yeah, yeah. very mutated in the, in the in the boathouse, right? Yeah, yeah. You you went through that faster than I thought you would. I was like, this is gonna be the whole next hour. <laughs> and then I and I came back later and I was like, oh, he's already done. Oh, it was awesome. easy. It nice. was might have been the easiest guy yet. Wow. Well, yeah. I struggled on the normal difficulty and then I really struggled on Madhouse. Like, I can Re imagine. Resident Evil House. Seven is like my favorite game of all time, but there's awesome. a couple moments in that game where it's like the bane of my existence. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so here's the thing. Uh, while, while we get started, while we get to show up and running, we want to talk a little bit about the feature of PSVR Games Cast Live. This has always been sort of a shit show. Yeah. Like every time, every time everyone shows up, um, it's 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 me running around trying to make coffee, try, like sweating my sweating and being stupid and yeah. um, and trying to get OBS up and running because I still don't know how to use OBS properly. And um, Basically, uh, it, it hasn't been working well for a long time. So uh, instead of instead of inviting people over to my place, instead of like doing the show in the format that you're used to, uh, we're gonna we're gonna change some things around. Starting, I believe, next week. Mm -hmm. uh, first, next week. First is the schedule. The time schedule doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, because what happens is is like right now it's twelve oh six here in the PlayStation Store. Basically, didn't update until about eleven twenty five. Yeah. Like, so I'm like, okay, shit. Like, Immortal Legacy did drop on the store today. We're all really excited about that. I really yeah. want to play it. But he, but then I had to get ready for the show, and so here we are, like thirty minutes into the launch of Immortal Legacy. Yeah. 
and I can't fucking play it because instead we're talking about games. And we're already a week behind because anybody viewing this at any point between now and I already played next the game. week. Yeah, yeah, done. It's old it's news. Like, how come you're not talking about Immortal Legacy? Because well, we didn't play it. It came out 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Fuck. Right now so, it's just Mortal so, Legacy. <laughs> it's, it's the curse of a regular cipher. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, so it's 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 bad timing. It's bad timing. It's always been bad timing. And, uh, and on top of that all, when I'm doing reviews... Like when I'm trying to get a review done, yeah, uh, it's it usually cuts right into this time. I'm like, I can usually stay up all night and get a review done, yeah, or I can like get some sleep and get ready for the games cast. And I was like, man, I'd always rather get the review done, yeah. But you can't just say, oh, sorry guys, I had to get a review done. No games cast this week. Yep. So we're changing the schedule. That's that's number one. Changing the schedule. Currently, it sounds like we're going to do it Thursday nights. So it's going to be much more relaxed. It won't be like first thing in the morning. Noon is morning for me. Um, and so uh, and, and so Thursday night at six p.m. Uh, Eastern, which means that's like 11 p.m. in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it's going to be much later for uh, like other people in Europe, but like we did the best we could. Uh, and uh, I know like this this is really fucking early for some people. Yeah, you know? really, yeah. So and this is also a Tuesday, so it, it's you know it's in the middle of the work week and stuff. So like I, we know this is not ideal for everybody. Thursday night will hopefully be better, uh, but it'll definitely be better for us. But on top of that, the bigger change is that. It's not happening here anymore, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we no longer, we're, not, we're not crowding a bunch of people in this room. I, I really think that two people in this room is about the happiest I get, <laughs> right? Yeah. You start adding three, and I'm like, hey, everybody, you add four, and I'm like, where? I can't, I'm not even on camera anymore. Right. Yeah, I'm like yelling to you from across the room. Well, it's like when Geppetto, not Geppetto, when Jiminy Cricket and Pinocchio were Saw in the whale's coming. belly, right? Well, is, two of them is, is it like that? Well, yeah, two was fine. <laughs> it was good. But then if you add a third to it, it's like, wow. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if two in a whale's belly is good. I think zero in a whale's belly. Wouldn't you rather be in a whale's belly with somebody suffering rather than alone being like... No, you know? I feel like I finally get to sleep. <laughs> right? And, and slowly no, digest how, over how, a thousand years. How much worse would it be if you were sitting in the in a whale's belly and somebody was just talking incessantly? You're just like, dude, I'm, I'm dying. Right. Slowly. And you're making it worse. You're trying to like, you know, <laughs> on the inner lining of the, the stomach... Try to claw your way out. Oh, that would take forever. And so, Anyways. And so the other change besides uh, besides the time and besides the fact that it's not happening here anymore yeah. uh, is is since we're going to do it over Skype. We're going to do it over Skype or Google Hangouts or something, whatever works with OBS. Mm -hmm. Right? Whatever works. Because there's got to be a better there's gotta be a better answer. And on top of that, when, when we when we open it up to, to Skype, uh, when we open it up to Google Hangouts or whatever we're going to use, we start opening up a lot of possibilities. Yeah. We start saying, oh, it doesn't have to be the, the three people that are you know usually available. Mm -hmm. Dez, is, Dez was never supposed to be on the show. Mm -hmm. Dez was supposed to do um, you know, Why We Love PSVR, and that was pretty much it. And then Michelle left, and he was like, well, I can fill in for a little bit. Yeah. And, and like he filled in way longer than I expected yeah. him to. So like that was a temporary thing. And that temporary thing is like running out of steam. Like he's running out of time and running out of summer's approaching. Summer's you know, approaching. Schedules are changing. The kids are going to be home. You're going to have your kids. Yeah. So it's so we need we needed a more flexible avenue, a, a new way to approach the show. Mm -hmm. And so with being able to do this, um, oh, in Atlanta. Oh, oh sci-fi game cat Henry. As he said, I won't be able to count the robins in Brian's pad anymore. Do I have that many robins? I do love Robin. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed. Tim Drake is my favorite. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. I got one. I think I just got two. I don't know. Is it? Yeah. Maybe he, only one. Sci-fi game cat Henry. He's like one, two. Every yeah. week, one, two. He's like, that's it. <laughs> um, so, so since we're doing it over uh, Skype, uh, the first thing we wanted to do was get some different hosts, uh, get some different voices on the show, uh, get some people who are like really, really entrenched in the PlayStation like VR focused. ecosystem. I mean, people. Well, I mean, it's like as we love you. But like we, but like I talked to AJ calls me on the phone. Yeah, right. Have you guys know God Can and PSVR Underground slash AJ, the newest He's there. edition of our He's channel? He's watching. Hello. He's watching. What's up, AJ? How's it going? Um, maybe I should have told him about this ahead of time. But now you know. Um, <laughs> uh, he so every time he calls me, it's like a two-hour phone call, mm -hmm. and we'd end up talking about like some retro, old-school PS1 games, and then we talk about PSVR for like an hour, and it's like, dude, every single time we do this, I'm like, why? Why isn't this? Why isn't, this, recorded. why isn't this being recorded? Why isn't this a podcast? Why isn't this something? Mm -hmm. I'm like, why aren't you on the games cast with us? Uh, and that goes, you know, and then with, with you and uh, Des being home, then now you, if, if you're able to Skype in, mm -hmm. that's an option. Yeah. And then on top of that, um, Dave Station. Dave Station is one of our favorite people. Yeah. Dave Station VR, if you haven't checked out his channel, make sure you do that. Yep. Um, and, uh, and he's like, he's, he's I, think, I think more than any other PSVR YouTuber, he and I see eye to eye on 
almost everything. Yeah. Right. We have very similar uh, backgrounds, very similar, um, you know, taste in games. Mm -hmm. And and in general, if a game is bad, we're the two going, yeah, this game sucks. Yeah. Or if it's really good, we're like, you got to fucking buy this game. Yeah. You know, it's like, and everyone else is sort of like in this great area where I'm like, oh, I don't always agree with you. I don't always agree with you. Um, uh oh. I've never seen this little bar be read before. What little bar? My, my stream health. Oh, shit. Is it not healthy? I don't know. I'm telling you, the phone and the internet yesterday was awful, and I had some weird theory on it. Oh, we're, we're dropping frames like crazy. Uh-oh. We're like, oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, all right, well, ho hopefully this will correct itself. Again, there's nothing I can fucking do here. Oh, oh, it's getting better. Okay, oh, we're all it's better. It's healthy. We, we went from red to green very quickly. Yes. All yeah. right, so, uh, so, Dave, so Dave Station is going to be a regular host on the Gamescast. AJ is going to be a regular host on the Gamescast. I will still be doing the Gamescast from this room with those guys. Um, and then when when Jeremy goes, dude, I played like, you know, fucking Falcon Age for 18 hours this week. I'll be like, dude, well, then you got to get on the Gamescast and talk about Falcon Age. Yep. When Dez is like, oh, man, Ghost Giant's the fucking shit. I'm like, get on the Gamescast and talk about Ghost Giant. Mm -hmm. But too often when Dez is here, yep. he can't talk about the game he's playing because the game he's playing is for why we love PSVR. And I'm like, yeah. well, that's a whole other show. Yeah. So it this, this just... Uh, it, guy, if you if you're if your uh, thing is stuttering, everything should be coming right back up in a second. Yeah. Um. So uh, so so but this just makes more sense for for everybody involved. It makes more sense for everybody's schedule, and it makes more sense to like get some people. In no offense to Jeremy, um, that like that like live and breathe PSVR. Um, give the, get get to hear their voice on the show a little yeah. more often. So uh, so that is starting next Thursday. The Gamescast will move to Thursday next PM Thursday six PM easy. Eastern next Thursday next. Uh, it doesn't next, have the same flow. Too many syllables. Yeah. Next. next. Show. Reconnection successful. I don't know if we're still streaming or not. Um, hmm. Uh, so let's let's address something that. Uh, oh, lots of, oops. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna just keep going. Um, so let's address something that less. <laughs> mm. It's uh, this is ridiculous. It makes absolutely no sense. Wow, it just is like constant, huh? Yeah, she doesn't know what it's doing. I, so I, I don't know. Uh, so guys, I don't know if the stream is still up and running or not, but let's address something that uh, Alessandro said. Uh, he said, uh, he says, oh, it sounds like the games cast is doing away with nonsensical banter at the end of an era. Um, and I was like, I don't think that's actually true. I think I think that there's still a, very much a place for uh, for this conversational non podcast. Nonsensical banter, yep. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I updated OBS today. Is, could that possibly be the problem? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I just know my uh, phone and my work computer connection yesterday was horrible. All right. Metcat saying refresh. And uh, and we're back. Yeah. Guys, the this, this stream health is fucking terrible. I, nothing I can do about it. I'm going to have to uh, call Com, uh, Charter today. I always say yeah. Comcast. I know. My first. Um, is Comcast summoning you? Brian. Okay, Dave Station says he has to work every other Thursday night, so it wouldn't be every week for him. Um, so, there's a so again. There's well, that's a, when the other Skypers exactly. Yeah, you know, we we, we do want it to be like a, a semi rotating cast. We want it to be something that everyone can be part of. Um, so, uh, man, I don't know. I don't know to tell you guys. It is wow. It's just a constant like. It's like red light, green light, yellow light. Yeah. I'm, I'm working on it here. I don't know what I can possibly get rid of here. That, that that's actually so actually eating up. No, bandwidth. Jeremy on the show. Oh, uh, Daniel the shrimp cat. Well, if I play something, I'll be on. And uh, still the Monday night live streams. Uh, keeps repeating. 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, uh oh, JD Max. <laughs> Hey, it's like going into the summer programming when all your shows would be gone for the season and then be the new ones. You're like, nah, I got to watch this. I don't like it. And next thing you know, you watch it like this show's great. So it'll work. You know, this, uh, the live stream and how we, uh, this, this all came into creation just to kind of alleviate some stress and time for you to concentrate on the bread and butter of the channel, which brought viewers in and, and subscribers, which was reviews, you know, and this show it never solidified it it definitely is kind of like a a play date you know where it's kind of like the parents sitting there like i ah, just let him play 
you know, and it's a little chaotic and it's definitely a lot of stress for you. Yeah. It definitely didn't change any of that. Yeah. If anyone, if anyone's curious, if anyone's curious where, where this all came from, where the genesis of this was, mm -hmm. uh, you can head on over to patreoncom slash without parole games and, uh, and watch a free video that I put up. Uh, it's me and Des talking about basically the mental breakdown I had last week. Okay. Um, and, uh, and, and about just all the, the stress and depression and everything got to me all at once. And, uh, I don't go into details about why it happened because that's a little too much. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, yeah, Madman, that should be 11 p.m. Uh, in the UK. I know the daylight savings time and shit all is different and stuff. I, yeah, I, it should be 11 p.m. for you guys. Um, but go, but but check it. It's like a 20, 30 minute conversation that Des and I had about about things that need to change, right? It's like I can't I can't be going full force um, with the channel the way I have been yeah. without burning out. Yeah, you know. So we said, well, what's important? You know, like if the games cast isn't working the way it's working, and if I'm like, if, if you guys coming in here stresses me out, and if like I have to, and all the preparation I have to do, and like, you know, into, and into, and and for my, my two co hosts to like not be as well versed as maybe two other co hosts I could have, mm -hmm. like it's, it's, it just all compounds to the point where you're just like, well, what's the, what's the easy answer and the easy answer was this needs to change yeah and uh and so, and so i'm doing i'm doing my absolute best for uh for the for the channel and, and trying to make sure that everything keeps running smoothly um and so if you want to check that episode out again do you do not have to pay patreon.com slash without pearl games this is a free video uh don't don't worry about it um it's uh you can check out the litter box and see what we usually ask people for money for <laughs> um but it, this, this one's free because i definitely feel like i uh I, this this was something I needed to talk about and needed yeah. to get out and let people know that like you know there's a lot of shit that happens behind the scenes without parole. Yeah. Uh, th and this was this this last week's been a really tough week for me. And it's not like a staff; it's you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you do all of it. You know what I mean? There's like one of those moments in your life, or somebody's gonna have to shake you and tell you you can't do it all. Yeah. You know, and that's a big. You know, I I know that makes you nervous, but eventually this channel is gonna get to a point, hopefully. Where you're not going to have to be in every single everything everywhere. That yeah. hopefully it will, you know, I don't know what the fuck. I couldn't tell you. I don't know either. You know, and how it's going to yeah. unfold in the future because... Uh, and I mean, that's kind of exciting too though. Yeah. You know, to, be, to be like, man, something's going to change. It's, yeah. Because something has to change. It has to. Right? Um, Diapers but, to underwear. Exactly. Or, yeah. or, or you just go to my college years, free balling. Free balling it. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, so that, so that's, that's kind of that, right? It's, uh, you know, I, I really, I love focusing on reviews and I love focusing on, um, cause reviews are my reviews are the things I like to do, mm -hmm. right? Reviews are like, the, I don't want to be a YouTuber. Yeah. I, I want to be a fucking games journalist. Yeah. I want to write about games and I want to be able to talk about games like intelligently. Yep. And, uh, and, and like there's all this other stuff on the channel that gets in the way of me doing that. Yeah. So like if, if, if I can get a little bit of time back because of the way we change up Gamescast Live then fucking as far as i'm concerned more power to me yeah so yeah uh and again check that video out it'll give you a better understanding of what's going on um and of course you know we will have the, I, I i'm excited to have like guests on you know um I, I i the first person after talking to dave station after talking to aj i'm um, the first person i talked to was that guy as well okay and i was like hey this is an option man like if you're interested like after the first couple weeks go by i'm like you know this how cool would it be to uh to excited for without parole to start free bone um <laughs> like, good one nick um so i just uh who says we haven't started that already <laughs> so it's going to be exciting to see other faces on the channel you yeah. know other other youtubers you're probably familiar with other people that you probably like you know there's no way in hell i'm letting polish paul come on the show <laughs> so don't worry man we're going to keep the integrity up to, to top notch you know shughead go fuck yourself you know all these people can just stay away no no, no i'm kidding obviously i'm kidding we love the whole playstation VR community but mm. there's no one i like making fun of more than Shughead and Will. Yeah. Well, Shughead and Will and Paul. Paul, you do like making fun of Paul. Who else do I like to make fun of? I think I like to make fun of everybody. A little bit. But it's all in good fun, man. Like, I love everybody. <laughs> so that's it. Um, okay, so uh, so that takes care of Gamescast Live. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. Next week. Yep. Yeah. Next week. We'll, we'll change some shit up soon. Yep. Holy crap, dude. So much to talk about. Yeah. Uh, you know what came out last week? You tell me. I don't know. Let's, let's see what came out last week. Last, last week we had... Falcon Age. Yeah. Remember Falcon Age? I do remember Falcon Age. That was a thing. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so so here's the thing with Falcon Age. Um, no, I still still no review on the channel. Yeah, I noticed. Right? And, uh, and, and, I'm, and I'm playing through it a second time. Okay. And I'm enjoying it more the second time. All right. It still has a, a whole list of faults, like like to the point like that. I'm like, these are like 
faults that need to be addressed before I can really recommend the game. Okay. Um, but but the fact is, is like if you love this bird as much as I did, yeah, you're going to be able to overlook those things and enjoy this time you spend with the bird and like the bonding and just how adorable it is. And you know, and if you want to spend time crafting and doing all that stuff, you don't have to. But the more you, more of that stuff you do, the more you like this game. So, do you think your dislike for it was the just the type of game it was, or the mechanics behind it also gave you issues? The, the type of game it is is fine. I'm, okay. I'm totally fine with it. It's it's very very simple. Like mm-hmm. you know, they show all this extra stuff. It's a big fetch, and, fetch quest. It's a big fetch quest. Yeah, yeah, and it's but it's but it's fun, and it's uh, and, and the and the big issue with it really. <sighs> It's just like it's. There's just some mechanics that aren't aren't polished. Mm-hmm. You know, like like the the full locomotion isn't polished. You try walking down a ramp, man. It's like yeah. walking down one big giant stair. Yeah. You know, and then uh, and I got caught up in the environment. I saw Jonathan Dornbush on on IGN teleporting around everywhere. I'm mean, like, I love this game. And I'm like, yeah. well, yeah, because you're not walking. Dealing with it, yeah. Like if you actually did the things I was doing, you yeah. wouldn't. You you'd be like, oh, there's actually faults in this game. Yeah. You know, and uh, and and plus. You know, the objectives that pop up are always really confusing. Yeah, they can tell you to continue to do the things you just finished doing. Like, I thought I just did that. Yeah. Like, oh, and then you walk all the way back to try to do it again. And it's like, you know, it's still not crossing off the list. I'm like, I don't I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't know. I need more. And then, and then on top of that, three hours in, the credits roll, and you're like, what What just happened? How did, like, like just when things were getting good. Yeah. Um. So Falcon Age is like, thank God it's a $20 game. Yeah. Because it's almost recommendable for twenty dollars. Scott, the introverted game cat, Meryl. Thank goes, you very much. Uh five dollars had just stopped in to say, You guys rock. Thursday night sounds great for the show. Thanks for everything, guys. Nice. Nice. Listen, we, we learned our lesson about when we remember when we canceled the Midnight Games cast? Yeah. And we we're like, we're, we're this is our last episode and we're you know, we're we're going on a hiatus when yeah. we come back and holy crap, we pissed off a lot of people. We lost a lot of people. Yeah. Nonsa has still not really come back. <laughs> Nonsa, I mean I don't want to start calling out individual game cats, but man, it's like, you know, I this miss them. it was it was a special show for people. Yeah. And you know, and like PSVR Theater still never came back. Yeah. And but that that went away for the same reason this is changing. Yeah. You know, we're trying to we're just trying to make things. It's evolving easier. too. The channel's gotta evolve, you yep. know? Absolutely. And just because it's set like this who, who knows how it's going to evolve in the future just don't give up we keep live, watching we try live it. in an age of technology where we don't need to cram a bunch of people into one room and turn a video camera on right yeah They're not necessary anymore yeah so we'll see how that uh that evolves um troy powell because i still miss that i'm like oh, yeah troy's troy's been around for a long time yes yes we love you troy we love all you guys um so uh, any chance fellow game cats could up their Patreon support? Oh, oh, it was, uh, I was like, oh, Duran fan. That's very, very, very nice of you to ask. But um, you know, really, uh, so we just we love that people are watching. Patreon support is is awesome. It means I don't have to eat ramen every day. Yeah. Occasionally, I do get to have a pizza. Yeah. Um, you know, and thank God for my parents. My parents are my coffee supplier. I'm like, my, I go visit my parents. My mom's like, here, take coffee. You need it. And I'm like, wow, you're like my drug dealer. I love yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> like right, as much as my drug dealer for sure. Um, <laughs> so Falcon Age. It's a, as far as a should we or shouldn't we, it's yeah. a, it's a, how much do you want to hang out with this bird? Yeah. Because if you do and, you, and you're like, get all emotional about shit like that, like me, yeah. it's a should we. Yeah. If you just want to play a game, I hate to say it. Maybe shy away. Yeah. It, it needs some patches. Uh, Echo says they're working on patches. Yeah. So we'll see what Which happens. It's a pretty positive thing, you know? Oh, absolutely. And I can't wait to see, like, I can't wait to do that, like, in a couple months play that game on why we love psvr yeah and and go back and look at it again be like see how much it's changed and evolved and gotten better yeah maybe after some patches and a sale i can jump in and try that one yeah yeah uh, i mean just patches alone i mean like you know because i think 20 dollars is a good price point it ain't yeah that's not that bad there's not a lot of replayability for 20 bucks yeah. for three hours it's like eh, what are you gonna do yeah all right but that was all that came out last week let's talk about stuff that's coming out this week stuff that's already out on the store <laughs> uh first and foremost one of my new favorite playstation vr games yeah I this really, really want to play this game. It's so, so goddamn good. Yeah. Um, I, I, and I, and the, every time I say words like that, I go, man, I shouldn't. I, I don't want to oversell this, but I, but I can't undersell it. Yeah. Because because I, I don't want anyone to miss this. It is it's a beautiful game. It looks it. It's beautifully told. The music the music got to me. The voice acting. I know like, it if you're not. It's so tough because how because because how do you voice one of these characters right and not be goofy. And be emotional and, and like get your point across at the same time and resonate with like to human. find balance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and somehow I think that every character in this game pretty much nails it. 
It looks visually like that PC game Broken Age a bit, and definitely Animal Crossing. Like they definitely melded some shit together. It's, it's I like that look. world is Tearaway for sure. Remember oh, Tearaway? Tearaway, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the first, in the first time I like re- the first time I, uh, I I reached down into the game and grabbed stuff out of the world, I was like, oh man, it's like I'm finally in the Tearaway world. Yeah, like just like grabbing stuff and throwing. They it didn't in. utilize that too much with the Vita. They just had remember the touchpad and the bat. You could manipulate things and yeah. Well, it did it did use the camera though, and it put you in the sun. Remember that? No. I forget. You know, they did a PlayStation 4 version too, and now I'm confusing. I'm wondering if... Because they gave us managers a copy, I think, on the Vita. I played the crap out of it. I really liked it. I didn't play the crap out of it, but I did play it a little bit. I think I basically beat it in like two settings. Wow. Yeah, and it's not a short game. Um, Huh. Yeah. I haven't been up on the uh, chat because Des can't talk to you and me look at this. It's all right. It's for for the best. (laughs) Gotta, Gotta keep you focused. True. Um, but Ghost Shine, Ghost Shine uh, just came out in the store today. Twenty five bucks. Yeah. Uh, again, it's a short game. 20, uh, I think it's about three hours. Uh, I like. There's a platinum trophy. Yeah. Oh. I, I wish I added that to the review. There were a couple questions in the comments. I um, saw that platinum. Platinum. There is a platinum trophy, and I went through the platinum. I went through the trophy list. The reason it wasn't in my review is because the the trophy list hadn't popped yet. Okay. Um. And so like I was getting trophies, but I was like I don't know how many more there are. Yeah. Um. And so and so very often when we get games ahead of time, like before review or before they get released, the trophy list doesn't pop up until a few hours ahead of time. Um. So uh. But but, but yeah, platinum trophy and some of the things you can do in the game to get extra trophies mm-hmm. on your way to the platinum looks like a lot of fun. It's like all this extra stuff that like you didn't have to do during the game and so it's worth playing through probably a full second time and they um, make it easy for you to just go back select a level jump in and get yeah, yeah. Whoop, that, whatever that, you missed that stage select screen yeah uh, he's just like click 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 oh that one okay i'm missing that collectible and that collectible let's go let's dive in i love game like was it rare that used to do that too or it was a lot of games where you could do the ban, ban, banjo kazooie games where yeah, you could that's rare. go back and and collect what you missed i dig that yeah you know uh, I wish Astrobot, you could go back to. Can you go back and miss if you missed one or two to try to find them? Yeah, I you never. D- I just keep going forward. I never try to go back. Um. You, yeah. You, you obviously. You definitely can go back to old levels. My, my, Do you have to wait until completion, or can you finish a level and immediately just jump back in and try? Immediately. To find them? All right. Oh yeah, absolutely. Nice. My my question about Astrobot though, and I and, and I don't even know the answer for Ghost Giant mm-hmm. is when you jump back into that level. Once you find the thing you're looking for, yeah, can you just quit the level? Or do you have to? Do you have to finish, finish the level? It, yeah, that always used to get me wary. Because yeah. remember, you could jump into older games, but it would like be like a, a restart, so you'd have to collect the same things again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that. Too. Ridiculous. Yep. Uh, okay, so it's Ghost Giant. Uh, Ghost Giant looks phenomenal. Let's talk about something uh, that I'm surprisingly excited for, and I'm only about an hour in. This is uh, Table of Tales. Oh, uh, nice. The, the Crooked Crown. So we, I remember we watched this on fucking PlayStation VR Theater. A long time ago. Like a year and a half ago. Yeah. Maybe longer, maybe two years ago. And like, damn, it looks this good. Really? Yeah. It's You're you're over this table the whole time. Like yeah. I said, I'm an hour in. I hear it's about three hours. Okay. Um, But man, there's just something very, very cool about the art style. Very cool about the way that each of these tiles pops up on the on the table. It really does. It sinks in and it, and it explodes out like that. Um, damn it. See, it's like, I mean, I dig this style game, and I don't own a style game like this on the PlayStation VR yet, but I really want to play Ghost Giant. So what, what, what Table of Tales doesn't really show you is how the game's really played. Yeah. You know, because okay. it, it's, they're, they're making it look like it's, you know, like an RPG. Yeah. And it kind of is. Yeah. But it's like a turn-based RPG. Mm-hmm. It's like when it's your turn, you know, you, you reach out and you grab your character, your, your little figurine avatar figurine exactly yeah and then there's you know a certain number of spaces you can move it yeah. uh in the space and everything uses you know power and so and you have all these cards lined up in front of you all their like attacks and abilities okay and so you know the further you move the less abilities you can use and yeah the, the whole thing it, it's very traditional nice. um and then uh and, and, and you know and, and but it's all turn-based and, and sometimes you have to roll dice to to but it's not like I was concerned it was going to get real Dungeons and Dragons on me. Okay. I was like, oh, man, if this gets real d and I'm screwed because that was never my jam when I was a kid. You rolled a die seven and his... Yeah, it's not know, like that. It's armor like, of six, it, it, one damage. It's like you have two... St- like, you have to, you know, you have to go shut this lever off over here. Yeah. So, you know, as you're fighting characters, um, as you're fighting enemies, you're gradually making your way over to that lever. And then, and then when you get there and you stand in a position, it's like there's five stars above the lever. And your character only has three stars of that ability. 
and then you roll three dice, and some of them have stars on some sides. All right. And you roll, and you try to get to the five stars. And sometimes you can do it in one roll. Sometimes it takes a couple of rolls. But huh. every time you roll, it's taking another turn, and the character, you know, the enemies are attacking Getting you. Getting closer. Yeah, it's it's really simple for beginners like me, for people okay. who are not used to this stuff, um, to the point where I'm an hour in, and if, like I said, it's only like a three hour game. Um, I haven't died yet. Oh wow! Right, but but what's cool about it is that just only, just because it's a three hour game, they give you a lot of uh, there's a, like a lot of a lot of sections pop up that like do you want to go do you, do you want to go take this boat over here you know from from somebody who just died okay uh, but it's a really like you know renowned boat and there's gonna be people being like who the fuck's on that boat okay or do you want to go to this one over here that's just you know been that that no no one knows but it's but heavily protected yeah you know but whatever and like you're like well I'm gonna go to that boat but but. That was like 30 minutes into the game. I have no idea what happens when you go over to take that boat. Okay. You know, you go into a dungeon. It's like, do you want to go this way and take care of this? Or do you want to go this way and take care of that? That's awesome. And I'm like, oh, let's go that way. And give you the choices, yeah. too. So, so this is a game you're going to want to play like probably three or four times. I'm wondering if that one's more my cup of tea than, I mean, Ghost Giant, yes, but I don't know. Table of Tales is, and it's cheap. It's like it's like 15 bucks or something um, with the PlayStation Plus discount. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's a $20 game, and uh, it's got a decent, decent sale. Sweet. Yeah. Um, so definitely, def- I mean, sh- it's a should we. I-, I can't think of anybody who wouldn't enjoy this. And it's not a game I think, it's not a game I was terribly looking forward to because of how it's played. Okay. So like, yeah, surprisingly good. But the, again, the power of VR, right? Compels you. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's Games awesome. you normally don't like, all of a sudden it's pretty fucking neat, you yep. know? And, and the price is right too. I mean, you, you, you can't go wrong with it for sure. Price is wrong. Was it Bitch or Bob? Bitch. bitch. Yeah. That was uh, Adam Sandler. Adam, Happy Gilmore. It was Happy Gilmore. Specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's probably my favorite one. Um, Billy Madison was good, too. Billy Madison, I... That's the ex-wife. Uh, <laughs> Billy Madison... Um, yeah, Adam Sandler's got some good movies, but it's nothing I go, you know, and see a million times over. Anyways. Yep. Uh, what's next? What's next is a game that I have nothing to comment on. Uh, that it, I didn't even really know it was coming out this week until uh, until I talked to developers late last night. Oh, and, and they were like, "We just got back from Sony. It's a, yeah. it's, it's totally coming out." And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> even they weren't totally sure." Um, and so this is uh, this is uh, Mortal Legacy, the Jade Cipher. This is the brand new trailer that just debuted like hours ago. Nice. Um, it's supposed to be amazing. It looks incredible. It, it's twenty bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, now this is this is speaking my language. This is this looks like. I mean, a cross between Resident Evil 5, c- crossed with Brookhaven Experiment, crossed with who the hell is this girl? Like, right? I, it's just, I, there's so much about this game that I don't know anything about. We've been looking at this for forever. And there's three games, two games that I definitely know. I mean, this looks awesome. Right? This looks awesome. Mm-hmm. Heard some very, very good things about Those this. Those legs. Oh, the yeah, entire hanging, humans. Actually. Hanging skeletons, it seems. Um,. So this is this is a game. As soon as I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to my uh, my internet service provider yep. uh, after the stream is over and see if I can't like work out a few details with them as far as getting my um, you know internet running better. Solid. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, and then I want to stream this thing today. Nice. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna play um, at least like the first hour or so in the stream later today. Uh, I'm, Some good games out. And then of course uh, one that AJ reviewed for us. Yeah. Uh, let's just cut right to that. This is Quiver. Q U I V R. V R. Quiver. Is it like Key or Chi V R? Is it what? <laughs> well, Q U I. Quiver. Qui. No, Quiver. no. But Quiver. Minus the V R. Qui? 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 Anyhow. I, that's, a good, that's a good question. I'm going to go with Qui. Qui, qui V R. Quai VR. Yeah. This AJ, looks pretty sweet, too. AJ seems to like this one. Yeah, he does. Um, strangely, I think this is like the most expensive one. <laughs> like it's like 25 bucks or something. And it's like the one I'm like least interested in. I actually really want to try this. The co-op specifically, yeah. I think, looks like it'd be fun. And I actually, I have this game. I yeah. could play this game you with could, some You could some have cats. played this game already. I know. It's like yeah. you could have had some... <laughs> After that. <laughs> After the live stream last night, I I had two loads of laundry. Yeah. I full, I didn't go to bed till about twelve thirty. I forgot. I think I think AJ is giving away um, quiver codes nice. uh, in the chat. Um, so uh, so keep. Oh an yeah, eye. there he is. He's yeah. doing that. I haven't looked at the chat. Perfect. I've been trying to remain on topic. Nice. Yeah. If uh, if you're not paying attention to the cat, you should pay attention to the cat. AJ's giving away. He he got like a ridiculous. Uh, 
number of, of re- of view keys. keys yeah. yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so de- definitely, uh, definitely try to grab one of those from, from, from AJ. That's for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Let's a couple announcements this week. Uh, let's start with the bad news and get it out of the way. Uh, Seeking Dawn was canceled for PlayStation VR. Really? Yeah. Uh, this was a big one on PC. Uh, when I say big one, I mean yeah, I think the music might be too loud. Uh, just cut that down a bit. Uh, this is a big one, like leading up to launch, everyone was excited for this. Yeah. And then they just got like these really mediocre reviews all around. And Multiverse was like, "Hey, we're a small team." And that's biting off more than we can chew. You know, they had all of these, you know, all farming and like crafting and, and I mean, and you name it, they had it in their game. Yeah. And it was just a little too much, but like graphically, it was like super, super great. crazy impressive. Yeah. Um, and so like basically they're, I think they're working on the PC pa- pa- patches for all the PC uh, issues. They're trying to get that working. And they said specifically for the PlayStation VR version that it just, they said it just graphically wasn't there. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, Man, have you played like Kona? Have you played The Mage's Tale? Yeah. Like those games are fucking really basic. low res and like yeah. basic and just um, blurry. You know, some they might look good, they might, but they're blurry as hell. I'm like, I'm wondering, I'm wondering how. Uh, I'm just curious. I'm just curious to see their build. Like, how is it? How is it running? Well, is it really just like blurry graphics? What's the problem? Yeah. What well, gets me worried too when when their value is more in visual than than gameplay like it just doesn't look good people have done it before there's games that have a lot to it on the vr P- playstation yeah and again yeah like you said they don't look great but they're fucking great games but 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 like how like how, how bad the question is is how bad are we will like are we willing to accept a game yeah. to look you know it's like because you play a blurry game for a while like i mean my eyes start to be like oh man but couldn't they get rid of some stone details on the ground and make it less I'm, the draw distance and the flames you know this is us talking you know after after them working on the port for like over a year yeah, i'm sure they tried. you know i'm sure they tried everything and finally we're like we just can't make this the way we want to make it they're too, they're too small of a team yeah they're too small of a team you know like it's 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 and they said they said they're putting on hold indefinitely um and it and i really think that you know with with the announcement of, of playstation 5 and the the fact that we're going to talk a lot about that in a minute. Yep. But but I think I think this is probably being put on the back burner until uh, until we get our until we get our more powerful hardware. Yeah. You know, there's no way there's no way they're just being like we dumped a year into this yeah, and we're and never going to use it again. No, they're going to get on the PlayStation Five hardware and dump it over. You figure there. Sony wants that in their library too. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. And then the last thing we're going to talk about before we talk about the PlayStation Five announcement is uh is this right here, which is the new game that got announced earlier this week. Chahi, uh, the guy who made uh, Another World or Out of This World. Remember those games? I remember Another World, but Out yeah. of This World, that I don't. Another World is Out of This World. Depends what region you play it. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, I, but I think but that, that was like the um, foundation for like Flashback. Uh, you know, like Prince of Persia was one of the this. Um, obviously, good inspiration for that. Uh, but yeah, uh, this, this dude's. A, oops. Blasting, <laughs> blasting the music. Sorry, guys. Um, so, like. Uh, so he's he's talking. He's like, it's not a god game, but he's like, but there are. He's like, it, it does it does feel like that occasionally. Um, he's like, all of these. He's like, the the animals interact with the ecosystem, and you interact with. It's just, I'm curious to see what the what the moment to moment gameplay is. Yeah, it looks amazing. It does look pretty awesome. You know, I've not seen this trailer yet. Oh, it's 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 great. Like, and it's but it doesn't it doesn't reveal enough. But it, that's fair too because it's it's the release date is like 2019, oh, like yeah. sometime eventually. So. I don't. I don't. I That's don't pretty like the, neat. Oh yeah, absolutely. Is now it, I wasn't reading the words, but this ecosystem—it's naturally evolving, or is it kind of pre-rendered type of thing? And it gets—we don't really know. Okay. I don't really know. I think it, it. It sounds like it's naturally evolving. It sounds like you know he's really put a lot of time into like how you know the the animals interact with the environment and stuff like that. So okay. we'll we'll see. It's uh, it's it's more of a question mark than anything else. But I mean, you know, talk about talk about good pedigree. Yeah, really. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, I, I should look up uh, Eric Chahi and see, and see what he's been doing for the last twenty five years. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. So I think we need to finally talk about this Wired, uh, Wired article. Oh yes, let's do that. Okay. So I'm you. You keep, you keep an eye on the chat. Yep, I'm, I'm looking. I, I'm going to be boring for the next five minutes and literally just read this out loud. Okay. Okay. Um, and maybe we'll maybe we'll stop. Maybe we'll stop every time we hit a high high point. Okay. All right. So this is uh, this is an exclusive uh, article on Wired uh, titled 
what to expect from Sony's next-gen PlayStation. Now, I, I gotta say, before we even get started, that this is uh, Peter Rubin, by the way. Um, before we even get started, I wanted to be like, holy crap, this is gonna be awful. You know, how many how many articles have we seen, like, people speculating about what the next PlayStation's gonna be and what it's gonna have? But once I got started, I was like, holy shit, they're, like, getting this from the horse's mouth. This is, like, from Mark Cerny, the, the lead hardware architect, like, at Sony. So... Uh, so it starts off because Mark Cerny would be uh, would like to get one thing out of the way right now. The video game console that Sony has spent the last four years building is no mere upgrade. You have good reason for thinking otherwise. Sony and Microsoft both extended the current console generation via mid-cycle refresh with the Xbox One uh, and PlayStation 4 spawning mini sequels, Xbox One X and PS4 Pro. The key question, Cerny says, is whether the console adds another layer to the sorts of experience you already had access to or if it allows for fundamental changes in what a game can be. Mm-hmm. The answer in this case is the latter. It's why we're sitting here, secreted away in a conference room at Sony's headquarters in Foster City, California, where Cerny is finally detailing the inner workings as of of yet unnamed console that'll replace the PlayStation 4. If history is any guide, it'll eventually be dubbed the PlayStation 5. For now, Cerny responds to that question and many others with an enigmatic smile. The next-gen console, as refers to it repeatedly, won't be landing in stores anytime in 2019. Which I think, side note... We've been saying like November 2020 forever. Yeah, um, I think that I think this pretty much says exactly that. Yeah, it Absolutely. does seem it. Yeah, uh, a number of studios have been working with it though, and Sony recently accelerated the deployment of dev kits so its game creators will have the time they need to adjust to the capabilities. As he did with PlayStation 4, Cerny acted as lead uh, system architect for the coming system, integrated developers' wishes and his own gaming hopes into something that's much more revo- a revolution than evolution. I don't. I think I really feel that about the PlayStation 4. I feel like it was an, it was an evolution. It was, yeah. You know, like a small step. Yeah. From what from what we're hearing, this sounds like a much bigger step. Yeah, let's see. Uh, it's hard to go from <laughs> what they are now on both consoles, Xbox and PlayStation. They've just they look phenomenal as it is, yeah. just on the flat screen, you know? Yeah. So yeah. Um what well, I think the big thing that PlayStation 4 added uh was was it turned everybody into a streamer. You, with yes. the push of one button, suddenly you're streaming on the internet. It did, because originally when that first was a thing, it was like, oh, yeah, who okay, yeah. who cares? Now it's like, yeah, that's fucking yeah. great. No one plays video games anymore. Everyone <laughs> just streams them. Everyone just watches someone else play a game. Watches them or plays them for other people. Yeah. yeah it's one or the other. Yep. Uh, a, true genera- a true generational shift tends to include a few fu- uh, foundational adjustments. Consoles, the CPU and GPU become more powerful, able to deliver previously unattainable graphical fidelity and visual effects. System memory increases in size and speed, and game files grow to match, uh, necessitating, necessitating larger downloads or higher capacity physical media like discs. PlayStation's next generation console ticks all of those boxes, starting with an AMD chip at the heart of its device. The CPU is based on the third generation of AMD's Ryzen line and contains eight cores of the company's new 7NM. Is that I, I'm like thinking I'm like nanometers. I don't yeah. I don't know what NM is. This is no this clue. is a lot of this is fucking foreign to me. Yep. Um, because I'm not a PC guy anymore. No, me neither. I'm I'm lost still touch. out of the loop. Uh, Zen 2 microarchitecture. The GPU, a custom variant of Radeon's Navi family, uh, will support ray tracing, a technique that models the, models the travel of light to simulate complex interactions in 3D environments. While ray tracing is a staple of Hollywood visual effects, is beginning to warm its way into high-end processors. In the, uh, NVIDIA recently announced R- its RTX line. No game console yet has been managed has been able to manage it. Yeah. Uh, That's what they say. Yeah, I don't think we need to talk about ray tracing, ray tracing, ray tracing. I do think they... I thought it was neat that they implement ray tracing also for sound quality. Yeah. Which is kind of neat. They do say that. Did I skip over that? No, I don't think it came Um, to that yet because they refer to it down after this portion. Yeah, um, he said if you wanted to run tests to see if the player can hear certain audio sources or if the enemies can hear the player's footsteps, mm -hmm. ray tracing is useful for that. Uh, It's all the same thing as taking a ray through the environment. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, the AMD chip also includes custom unit for 3D audio that Cerny thinks will redefine what sound can do in a video game. Yeah. Uh, as a gamer, he says, it's been a bit of a frustration that audio didn't change much between PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. And that is true. And, you know, I didn't even, it didn't dawn on me until getting to that point in the yeah. article where I was like, that is true. Yeah. I mean, it sounded good before, you know, and it sounds pretty good now. But, yes, that's that's always one thing where it's like not quite, it's like, where's that sound coming? Even if you had the headphones on, it's like, 
Yeah. But it's back there, you know, yeah. but it sounds like it's over here. And for so long, like you really needed like a 7.1 Dolby, like yeah. digital surround sound, like speaker setup and stuff. But what and comes blasted. next, what comes next is what I'm more excited about. Yeah. He goes, uh, with an, uh, the next console, the dream is to show how dramatically different the audio experience can be when we apply significant amounts of hor- hardware horsepower to it. The result, Turney says, will make you feel more immersed in the game as sounds come at you from above, from behind, and from the side. While the effect will require no external hardware, it will work through TV speakers uh, and and visual surround sound. He allows that the gold standard will be headphone audio, yeah. which with PlayStation VR, I think most of us are doing anyway. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I so do one ear. One ear? So I can be present of the, the noises in my no i don't play still when they're there because i i get too paranoid you only wear one headphone when you're playing playstation when VR i do games? the stream yeah only one headphone really i get so fucking scared man. oh my god my kids do you realize i jumped they, it's like i get i'm almost terrified when they're at my house for the half of the week that they're at my house because the other night i was on my computer one head no i took one headphone off and i had this one open and i had this headphone on i was listening to uh, old recordings of us playing while I was working on my uh, resume. Yeah. And one of my kids had a really bad headache and she got out of bed and came over here and it was like 10, 15 at night. She's like, Dad, I'm like, oh my God. Like, I freaked. And they both woke me up in bed a couple of weeks ago because they were sick. And I was like, bro. And I, I jumped. I'm like a kiva. I was like, oh. And they, they think it's terrifying at first. They're like, oh. And then they think it's hilarious. And I am like, my heart rate. So you think VR is safe in Resident Evil with two earplugs for me when I jump with my beautiful children. What, Dad, father? When your kids are around, yeah. I get it. Yeah. When there's no one around, you're just Terrified. a fussy. I'm a wicked yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, big one. Uh, let's see. One of the words that Cerny uses to describe the audio may be familiar to those who follow virtual reality. Presence. The feeling of existing inside a simulated environment. He's yeah. speaking our language now. Yep. Uh, when he mentions it, I ask him about PlayStation VR, the peripheral system that has sold more than 4 million units since its 2016 release. Specifically, I ask if there will be a next-gen PSVR to go alongside this next console. Quote, I won't go into the details of our VR strategy today, he says, beyond saying that VR is very important to us and that yep. the current PlayStation VR headset is compatible with the new console. That's That's incredible. Again, the thing we've been saying... This is the only way Sony can do it. Yeah. And in the back of my mind, I go, but Sony never listens to us. <laughs> and they're going to screw it up. How are they going to screw it up? PlayStation 5 is going to come out. PSVR 1 won't be compatible. And then we have to wait two years for PSVR 2 to come out. Yeah. And everyone's given up and lost interest by then. Yeah. And I'm like, but I'm like, that's 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 the the, the future I envisioned with with the Sony from like the PS3 days. Yeah. Right? With the, the one who just never listened to consumers. But like, the, I've been saying from the get-go... The current PlayStation VR headset we have has to be compatible with PlayStation 5 to make that transition easier for people. Yeah. You know? And and fucking he just said it's actually gonna happen. Right? Unfucking believable. Yeah. It is crazy. And I mean Sony's great with taking old periphery- peripherals and Why, what 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 is it about the word peripheral? I don't know. That that people there's always like an extra syllable when you say it. Peripheral. I know. It's not freal. It's peripheral. Per- peripheral. 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 That's what I said, right? Peripheral. No, you're like peripheral. Peripheral. Like where is it? I don't know. Maybe for real. For real. Peripheral. I feel like I feel like I call people out on shit like this, and then I go, and then five minutes later I go, but am I right? <laughs> I know. I don't know. I, I'm sure the chat knows. Yeah, right. Yeah, everyone's like Jeremy's right. I'm like that's <laughs> never been a thing. Uh, he gets so new, new CPU, new GPU, the ability to deliver unprecedented visual and audio effects in a game, and maybe a PSVR sequel at some point. That's all great, but there's something else that excites Cerny even more. Something he calls a true game changer. Something that might that more than anything else is the key to the next generation. It's a hard drive. Yes. Yep. The that's very true. It is. The larger a game gets, last year's Red Dead Redemption 2 clocked uh, in at a horse-choking, I love the expression, 99 gigabytes for the PS4. The longer it takes to do, the longer it takes to do just about everything. Loading screens can last minutes yep. while the game pulls what it needs from the hard drive. Same goes for fast travel. Yep. Uh, when characters transport from far-flung points, we know what fast travel is. Yep. Even opening a door can take a mi- over a minute, depending on what's on the other side and how much more data uh, the game needs to load. Elder Scrolls, remember those days? Opening the door, it's like, hmm, <laughs> hmm, waiting. Oh, yeah. yep. Absolutely. I've been playing Fallout 3. I mean, like, oh this my God. crazy, massive open world, and you're just walking around, and it's fine. You can All go right. for like an hour. And like no loading screens, yeah. And then you go to this tiny little fucking building, and you open a door, and it has to load for a minute. I'm like, yeah. Wait, just the building I just walked into is literally this big. This big. 
Yeah. We, that wasn't part of your world? <laughs> like, what happened? <laughs> anyway, um, he says, uh, starting in the fall of 2015, when Cerny first began talking to developers about what they want from the next generation, he heard it time and time again. I know it's impossible, but can we have an SSD? Solid state drives have been available on budget laptops for more than a decade, and the Xbox One and PS4 both offer external SSDs that claim to improve load times. But not, not all solid state drives are created alike. As Cerny points out, I have an SSD in my laptop, and when I want to change from Excel to Word, I can wait 15 seconds. What's built into Sony's next-gen console is something a little more specialized. Uh, he goes to demonstrate Cerny fires up PlayStation 4 Pro playing Spider-Man, a 2018 PS4 exclusive, um, lots and Jesus Christ, there's a lot of fucking extra stuff here. Yeah. On the TV, S- Spidey stands in a small plaza. Sony presses a button on the controller, initiating a fast travel interstitial screen. When Sony reappears in a totally different spot in Manhattan, 15 seconds have elapsed. Then Cerny does the same thing on a next gen dev kit connected to a different TV. Um, the dev kit, an early low speed version, is concealed in a big silver tower with no visible componentry. Yeah. What took 15. 50- Oh, we're, we're back on. We're back on. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're back on. We're just bad connection, as always. Yeah. It's fucking... I, I I don't have the standard connection, man. Like, I pay for pay for better internet. For extra, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Luckily, we're just reading, so it's, it's not, we're not right. missing a whole lot just here. Just plagiarizing. Yeah. Um, on the next-gen console, the camera speeds uptown like it's mounted to a fighter jet. Huh. Periodically, Cerny pauses the action to prove that the surrounding environments remain perfectly crisp. While the next-gen console will support 8K graphics, TVs that deliver it are few and far between, so we're using a 4K TV. Yeah. Um, this is just... It just goes on and on and on. Um, this is... Did, did, I'm, I'm speeding through here. I don't think there was... Any, there was no, nothing else about PlayStation VR. No. Um, and nothing else that concerned us specifically. But, man, like, what... This is exactly exactly what you want to hear yeah what they didn't talk about were like things that you wouldn't expect to be in this kind of article something you'd expect to see like in an e3 press conference like mm. maybe they'll be at e3 next year you're like i don't know or maybe there'll be a playstation experience or something like what well, yeah know, this because state of play is awesome yeah but, but do you announce a new console in like the price point and know. the release date do you announce that during a state of play i don't know what you do so sony definitely seems like they're Definitely kind of more doing their own thing now. Yeah. Uh, so, who knows? I mean, these, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Do they need to do the whole E3 thing or do they not? It's kind of, threes, I don't know about you, but year after year the excitement gets a little less because they don't seem to be as but, impactful. But when you go seven years without a new console. It's a while. It's all, and so it can get less exciting. Yeah, you know, it's it's always the new console launches that are super exciting. Yeah. So like, so do you return to E3 for that one year? Because you know Microsoft is yeah. going to still be at E3. Oh, of course. So you, I feel like you got to go toe to toe with your biggest competition. You'd think, you yeah. know, but it's it's almost as if I don't know if Microsoft is as much of a competition or a competitor as it used to be. I mean, Sony's well, did I know. ever it's ever crazy. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if, for the last. I honestly show. don't. I honestly don't know if it's starting like a new show every single time. I have no idea. Oh yeah, I wonder. Is it going to be like a million different episodes or I one long one? Literally no idea. Um, we'll find out hopefully soon. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to be one show. There's not no. the old ones would have popped up by now at some point. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, so things flip flop every generation. Yeah. We really don't know what to expect. Um, my my biggest concern. Is that they're going to come here and find you? Yeah, it's, I feel like they already know what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, my biggest concern is that this is going to be like a $600 price tag. Mm, right? Yeah. Because here's the thing. You can make the world's greatest, most powerful console, which they're trying to do. Yeah. And it's not an issue if you want to charge people $1,000 for it. I know. You know? So it's But but you can't do that. They, they have found the sweet spot. But Sony's never been afraid to put a heavy price tag on their consoles. But they should be afraid now because play, that's when they lost the lead for PlayStation 3. It was too yeah, the expensive. Launch that it, yeah, that's it, right. Yeah. Right? It was like 600 bucks. It was pricey. When they, and and, I, and I, you, you hope that they learn their lesson from that. And so basically, I think, I, I think looking at all these specs and everything, if they can't get this into a box for $400... Yeah, I'm like I don't know if you should do it. Would you push it to five if it had SSD and all? Like if it implemented all that he was speaking of? My my the thing I've been saying is that 
because um, there's going to be PlayStation 4 backward compatibility. We, uh, maybe we didn't get to that part in the article. No, we didn't, actually. But, but, but they, everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody's yeah. been saying in the chat since before I woke up. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. and they said, you know, so, so we have PS4 backward compatibility. Yeah. What they didn't talk about was PS3 and PS2 and PS1 backward compatibility. Like, I want this thing to fucking run everything. And I've been saying since, they, since we've started talking about PS5 yeah. that... If you want to give us that kind of backward compatibility where I can take any game off my shelf, like from, from the old generations, yeah. and it'll just work, I will pay an extra hundred dollars for that PlayStation. Right? Yeah. Will I pay will I pay an extra hundred dollars for like an SSD? Will I pay an for extra the lowest times? I the lowest times I would. Yeah. yeah. But 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 you're the same guy who didn't buy a PlayStation four pro. No. Because because you weren't ready to upgrade. Yeah, the upgrade was so minimal though, I'm thinking this upgrade's gonna be yeah. substantial. Obviously, oh, very substantial. For and sure. though now, we, so we got away with seven years with this current console. There, there was a little update you could do or not do if, if you, you want, want yeah. to. So, if this was a higher price point, knowing that this is pretty much it, like you're going to be set and not have to upgrade for at least a good five years before maybe they even came out with like a PS five point two, whatever. Even if they don't, yeah. uh, would you be willing to maybe? pay that five or six hundred because you're going to have this console for six seven years it's going to be fucking powerful it's going to run your last library of games all your vr pass library and your current vr headset will continue to work forward i would i would be going i would be willing to pay five i'd say six would be my cutoff if it was that substantial and that they implemented all that they said i think i would that's my cutoff i don't have a cutoff yeah I am, I'm so I'm so invested and in, entrenched in PlayStation at this point. Yeah. Um, that I think the second the second we're able to plug our PlayStation VR headset into something new, yeah. I need to own that. Especially, I wouldn't spend that on Microsoft console. No. No. I I'm I think if I think if Microsoft came out with a new console tomorrow and was like, It's only two hundred dollars, Brian, I'd say I'm no, I'm good. Yeah, I, I've got I, enough I gave, right now. I gave away my Xbox One. I got two consoles in just one with the PlayStation. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. I got the VR portion of it and I got the flat. Uh, Massimo oh. says ray trace graphics in VR. Just wow! I think that I if wow! I think that <laughs> my Amiga remember I Amigas remember that yeah. back in the nineties took about eight hours to render a single ray traced image. That sounds incredible. <laughs> He's not kidding, man. I remember that shit. Good stuff. Hey, Frowny's leaving. People will leave. I didn't get to read the chat. Yeah. 500 600 based on version you get oh price points yeah i'm like again like i said i, I don't have like if they charge if they go hey this playstation 5 is the most incredible thing on the face of the planet it's gonna be a thousand dollars i'll be like I'm, i mean i'm in i'll pre-order it on amazon yeah I, i'm in because like i said the second i have something to plug my playstation vr into yeah that's not that that's playstation branded that's not my ps4 yeah i'm down right i'm down uh and i don't expect anyone to be there with me yeah not at that price i but i do expect Four to five hundred dollars, five being the maximum. You're going five, yeah. I'm saying five should be the maximum. Four should be what they're striving for. There's a reason it took seven years. Cramping it, if they can cram it into four hundred dollars to yeah. get all that tech, yeah, that'd be great. There's a reason it took seven years. They could have released this console two years ago, but it would have cost nine hundred dollars. It also depends on how much they're willing to lose because it was. It's always kind of a known thing yep. in the beginning cycle. I don't know how long that they lose money per console it's usually for? the first couple of years yeah yeah because they regain it all through the hardware you know through the software sales. software excuse me yeah. but yeah usually usually over the course of the first couple of years they're doing like small redesigns making things cheaper and stuff yeah. and slowly pushing those out as like not even telling people that they're changing the insides yeah and uh and, and gradually making it cheaper for themselves but yeah but no they do lose money on every console sold for a couple of years for sure so i guess it depends on how much they're willing to lose if they want to put all this stuff in there and it should retail for seven yeah and they want to push it up for four four fifty you know for, it's like you start getting to the 50 mark and you're like well why, why, not why even do it just yeah. if you're gonna do 450 just make it five is right. it yeah um anyway that is uh i i think that's gonna be it for the show today mm -hmm. uh, i know you gotta get going you got you got places to be you got kids to take care of babysitters yep. to relieve yes um so we're, we're gonna we're gonna call this one a little bit early yep uh want to make sure that uh you guys you guys remember that next week games cast live will be thursday night yes 6 p.m We'll see how it goes. Fingers I don't know crossed. if I'm going to be able to view from work. I work at 6 p.m. 
Jeremy will not be watching for anyone who's curious. Oh, I will be. I, there's, there's no, unless I'm with somebody at the, that moment. Yeah. I, I want to check this out. So keep that in mind. Everything else for right now should be staying the same. Des and I are going to film a viewer takeover tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to try to kind of get everybody's name from game cat name from last week into this one. Yeah. Last week is just a, a throwaway at this point where I'm just, I'm never going back and editing that. <laughs> um, but, but thank you guys so much for all the support you've given us. I've gotten hundreds of messages from all you guys. Uh, basically. Wait, Amanda's stream still going to be at 930. Yep. On Thursdays. Oh, yeah, so we're basically the games cast is going to lead into okay. the industry. All right, all right. Yep. Uh, but, but you guys have been so supportive. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been. I mean, literally, yeah. when I say 100 messages, I've gotten between one and 200 messages from, from Facebook, PlayStation. I mean, uh, private messages on, on Twitter, private messages on, uh, on Discord. I mean, you name it. Snapchat. I've gotten messages from every single social media outlet I am part of. And you guys are just coming out in full support tons of suggestions from the game cat saying you know here's how you can you know make yeah. the channel easier to run whatever i'm not going to be able to respond to all of you i apologize it's going to take three days of my life and like just it'll start <laughs> the stress will start building that back up yeah. if, I, if i decide to respond to everybody but i just want to say thank you guys because you've been really 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 um, um just super super nice and awesome. compassionate so thanks for thanks yes. for that uh all right you guys uh have an awesome rest of your day and uh and we'll see you next week we'll see well i won't yeah, and, I won't. And as soon as I get my internet connection fixed, uh, apparently I'll be streaming uh, Immortal Legacy. Oh, that's right. So g- give me a couple hours on that, but it'll happen. Yeah. All right. And I'll uh, I- I'll see you on Monday live stream. With only a few left. Resident Evil, you think? A couple more? Uh, yeah. God Cannon was, AJ was saying. Uh, you get a couple left. A couple left. Yeah. Getting close. Right, well, you better start figuring out what's, what's next. Well, that's what I want to wonder. I wonder if yeah. I want to select three games and have people tell me which one, you know. There you go. I'll figure it out. Yeah, you can do a straw poll in the Discord. Yeah, I could try that. We'll figure it out. But I'll see you on the live chat and other areas at some point. You guys, we love you all. Mwah. Bye, guys.